レスレクションその先へはい、どうも、皆さん、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、Now, of course, last time I did not review any of the anniversary units because I was unfortunate enough to not be able to get them, unfortunately. So, today, because round two came out, I managed to pull all three Thousand Year Blood War round five characters. So, I have them here almost ready to be reviewed. I can't review、uh, Yama or Soifon yet because I am still. In the way of trying to finish them, their soul trait, getting them to level 200, because I unfortunately finished the skill keys that I had left. But however, I do have Aizen level 200. So I figured, you know what? Let's just, let's just go ahead and review them for the time being. So we're going to be reviewing the long awaited Chair Aizen, who we should have gotten in Thousand Year Blood War Round 4, but waited an entire year to get, and now we finally have him. So let us go ahead and begin with Aizen. Now, is Aizen the best mine character? Unfortunately, no. For two good reasons, because it mainly, it mainly factors in with his third strong tag being charged. Now, his, his uncharged and charged third strong tag is good, but when doing the incantation, it takes awfully long to get it to be full screen. But that being said, he is a good character on, nonetheless, but not as good as, let's say, Hikone, unfortunately. But, anyways, stats wise, he has 1094 stamina, attack at 638, defense at 354, focus at 348, and an, and an incredible SP of 882. He, along with Mugetsu, are the SP kings. However, on Aizen, unlike Mugetsu, Kind of falls behind just because of the overall kit. However, his his stats and skills do not disappoint. He's got a 20% bruiser, devastation of 40%,、um, blasted survival, frenzy, debilitator,、uh, sprinter, and start barrier plus 10. So other, overall, he's still an amazing character to be able to use in co op. Not good for GQ, but great for co op. So, anyways. Let's just go ahead and get started and review them. We're going to be doing three builds Normal Attack Damage Build, Sinkaizen, and of course, Recharge. So let us begin. So I'm back, build him full,、uh, full Normal Attack Damage. So what did I give him? I gave him a Chappie with 30% attack, Hollow Weight with 30%, and an Owen with 30% attack. So we have an overall increase of 160% attack. Now, because mine is not link slotted, I decided to go with Off Collar. 25 normal type damage links just because of the fact that he is not fully link slotted, and let's just say that it's kind of pointless to get the extra stats in until I basically have him 10 10 10. So, anyways, the links I gave him are full on triple 25% normal type damage. So that way we get his bruiser all the way bumped up to 95%. Now, let's just see if this Aizen is still gonna be good with his normal attack. Alright, so here we are in the game, so let's just go ahead and begin. So, we're already doing around approximate. Not a lot of damage because, yep, because, well, I mean, it's ranged. That being said, at least it does penetrate through just fine. We're doing around roughly、uh, 3k to 4k damage. Keep in mind that because right now, by the time of this recording, there are no、um, heart raids with hollows, I had to pretty much resort to.、Uh, Going with a droplet trial. So the damage he's outputting is not going to be at his best, but it'll still be enough to determine whether this build is going to be viable or not for a single player and co op quest. And so far, I'm going to have to say it right now keep it single player only, like always, because at the end of the day, this is, unit is an SP unit. You're not going to want to build them just to use their normal packs. Only for being able to use their strong attacks, for nuking, and whatnot. Leave the normal attack damage、uh, build to mad units. However, it's always fun to be able to experiment different builds for the characters and see if they're somewhat useful. And in some cases, you'd actually be right. Like, a big example would be Manga Byaku because he works both sad and high and mad. 
Just not this character, though, because he doesn't have a high normal attack. He doesn't have a high attack stat. Sim simply to be put, you just want to build a mess pool. That's what I'm going to say about this build. There's nothing more to it. Now, let's just go ahead and finish off the raid. But we're still doing okay damage, but not. it's still something I would not bring into co-op. Or Inheritance Zone, for that matter. Okay, let's just go ahead and take out this guy. These guys. At least they made. At least the strong attacks made for good guard breaking. But this is just neat. Yeah, it's just against the tougher enemies that my strong attacks don't take them out. All right, here we are. I think at the boss. Yeah, there we go. Let's just go ahead and use the special right away. And now to take out Kenpachi. And we still managed to do it. <laughs> before he inflicted the super strong effect. But yeah, the build is not perfect. I'm just gonna say that much. Okay, so we're back. We built him full Senkaisen. So, but what did we give him as accessories? We gave him a Yuki, Pill, and a Lieutenant's Batch, all with 30% SP. So I'm going to be doing uh, around approximately 120% more damage with my strong attacks plus the lieutenant's badge which factors in 20% additional strong attack thus rounding it up to a total of a of 140%. So anyways, let's just see how well the build stacks up. Okay, so here we are in the game. Now let's just see first strong attack yeah, I was easily able to take out that much. And these fucking hollows. Uh, not fucking rockers, excuse me. Now let's just see the uh, uncharged third strong attack against uh, the tougher enemies. How much damage we're gonna do here. Yeah, it was enough to take out the tougher enemies. I mean, fucking Senkaisen. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna be OP. But so far, we're doing pretty good damage with our uh, strong attacks. Even though the main problem with Senkaisen is that if you get hit, you do lose the additional 60% uh, uh, increase with your strong attacks. And of course, you have way less uh, cooldown for your strong attacks. Like, it takes freaking 20 seconds to take, ca take back your third strong attack. That being said, it, the Senkaizen builds are always going to be useful for Senkaizen, for Senkaimon quests, since they're a big life there for things like ordeals and such. Anyways, let's just go through this shit. And now, we're gonna... We're gonna just go ahead and... Man, these fucking hollows. Get the fuck out of here. Let's just go ahead and use our special here. Anyways, the reason why I decided to unleash the special right away is because it's simple. I want to see how much damage we will do once we unleash the third Tron attack to its fullest. So we're gonna do the incantation. So let's just go and get good. So now let's just wait. Alright, here we go. We did a total of 25,000 damage. That is a lot. The problem is, it takes way too fucking long to charge, like always. And that's really Aizen's problem. Alright, now that we're done with the Sinkaizen build, let's go with the Recharge build. My verdict of the build? Usable, but keep it to single player. So now we reach the final build, being the Strong Attack Recharge build. So what did I give him in terms of accessories? Now, link-wise, of course, you already know, full percent recharge on all three. And, of course, none of them are utilizing link slots because I don't have them done yet. So anyways, I swapped out the Yuki with a Tension Tie. 
with 30% SP, kept the pill and the uh, Lieutenant's badge at 30% SP. So literally now we have focus, so we will be able to do even more damage with our strong attacks. So All, right, just, so All right, so here we are. Let's just see how much damage we're going to be doing our, with our strong with our first. Now keep in mind that Aizen does have ranged collision, so some of the enemies may not die. I mean, it's normal. It's only normal for ranged unit, even though he shouldn't have ranged collision. But that being said, it is still good pushback. His vortex is good. Now let's just go ahead and uh, see if an on charge third strong attack is enough to take out a tougher yeah. enemy. So let's just see. Yep, it was enough. All right, that's good. Let's just keep on going. First, directly. And another rocker did not die for whatever reason. Let's just keep on attacking here. Damn. That reach is pretty far, that first strong attack, so that's not bad. Overall, I'm gonna say that this build is viable. Like, it works, and I think it's by far the most optimal build for Aizen, really. I was just going to charge it up, but not completely, just to take out these enemies. It's a good thing that at least he has a decent radius. Almost poke kill range. We're just going to take out these enemies. It's also a good build. I don't have much to say about this build because slowly every single recharge build always being the same. Anyways, let's just, go, let's just go ahead and nuke here because I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the Sinkai's and build. See if his final third strong uh, charge strong attack is enough to be able to take out the enemies. Alright, now that we can nuke most of the enemies, let's just go ahead and get ready for the incantation. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do the incantation right here. Alright, now let's go. There we go. It was enough to take out the boss, but it only, it only did 10k damage, but it's still something at least. Overall, this Aizen is, is good. He is a good character. Just not the best mind unit, just because of the fact that they kind of fucked his third strong attack. But overall, if you guys do pull him, do get him to level 200. You'll have an amazing time with him in co-op. And you gotta also consider that his third, when fully charged, it's basically like having an infinite soul bomb, just that it takes a while to charge. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Next time, I'm gonna be able to do soy fun because uh, the rest of her raid material comes out tomorrow, and I'll be able to farm her, get her to level 200, and have her ready, have her ready to be showcased. Anyways, this is this has been your boy, the Death Master. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.